How y'all doing out there? Welcome to Clayton Showalter's YouTube channel here. So we're back on this uh, home light uh, XL123 chainsaw here. And we're gonna replace the uh, crankshaft seals on this. Uh, we're gonna do flywheel side and clutch side. And to do that, I need to remove this clutch. Well, you can see there's three holes here on this uh, clutch. They make a tool for that. Um, I think there's one by Home Light that they make, but I don't think uh, if you go to the dealer or whatever, I don't think you can get that for from them because I don't think they make it anymore. But don't quote me on that. Um, I believe you can go on eBay and find it. And it's just a deal that will connect to your breaker bar with a 3 8 drive or or three quarter inch drive. And I think the last time I saw that tool was about 40 bucks. I don't really want to spend $40 on that or have to wait for it to be shipped here. It could be a week, it could be two weeks, it could be two or three months, uh, the way the mail goes. Anyways, back to the story here. Well, I've got this uh, three quarter inch drive socket, inch and an eighth socket. And I've got this cheap little Harbor Freight Phillips screwdriver here, which I'm going to cut the Phillips part off of. Because it's what I found that'll fit in these holes here. And if you guys know where I'm going with this, you'll figure it out. Um, if I had a piece of pipe... I could make notches in the pipe that would fit these holes and then I can weld a plate on and a nut and then do it with a ratchet that way or a bolt and do it. But I don't have a pipe about that diameter. This is pretty darn close and I've already ground spots on this. So what I want to do is uh, let's go ahead and take that screwdriver like that and I'm going to cut three pieces off of this screwdriver and just spot weld it on there, attack weld it. And that should give me my tool there. I'll probably make these about, oh, to go in, stick in about a quarter of an inch, maybe three eighths of an inch. So let me zoom you guys in and uh, you'll see what I'm talking about here. Let's see. Get you zoomed in. Hold on. Y'all y'all bear with me. So there's them uh one, two, three. That tool kind of looks like this pattern. Well, I'm just gonna take this socket here and cut these little pieces off this screwdriver. And I'll kind of set it where I want it, and I'll put little tacks on it. And I might, I don't know, we'll see, because there's some space between here, so I'm probably going to have some play. Uh, what I might do is take a hose clamp. After I get these pieces cut out of this screwdriver, stick them all in and hose clamp it where I think I want it, and take it off and go tack them. I'm not sure if that's how it's going to happen, or if I'm going to have to take it with it on the saw like that attack it that might how I have to do it we'll see so we're gonna we're gonna pause you guys and we'll come right back y'all hang on for just a little bit we'll be right back all right y'all I'm back here so I've got that screwdriver cut up there's what's left of it there, handle there. And that was pretty hard metal there. I was using the uh, Sawzall uh, with a metal cutting blade. It dulled that thing instantly. I only got two pieces cut out of it, then I had to cut the rest, but that was just a little 
Harbor Freight screwdriver there. I didn't think it was that hard, but it was. That's okay. So we've got our pins in there. And we're going to take this socket and we're going to hold it where we want it at. Now we're going to tack it. Then And we'll show you the show you the outcome of it there. We're just kind of getting these set where we want it there. And uh, we'll tack it on there. So y'all bear with me here. I'm just kind of thinking. Hoping things will will go go right here, and we'll have a homemade uh, clutch removal tool for an XL one twenty three or probably many other home lights. So we'll get this uh, situated here. Now oh, that's going to be a booger. I can't quite get the clamp on this socket here. It's too big for the clamp. Let's see if it'll stay. Alright. I hope you all can see what's going to go on here. You all bear with me. I apologize if I ain't talking. I just want to get this set into place and where I think it should be at. And... We'll put a put a tack on her there and now this socket wasn't quite the right diameter. But I think we're about as close as we're gonna get. Well, we got that there. It's just tacked. We got a do it a little better. So we'll come back here uh, when we got her all a little bit more tacked. Well, we don't want to go crazy on them pins that we tacked on there. We don't want them to lose the hardness. We don't want them to just go bending in there. We go to take that clutch off there. So I think you all understand what I'm saying there. So we'll pause you guys. We'll bring you right back when we're gonna take that clutch off there. Y'all hang tight. All right, we're back here. Oh, well, here's that clutch removal tool. That I made for this home light XL123. And these pins are still a little bit long. I'm gonna take them down just a little bit more because I know this the screwdriver was you know hardened, it was heat treated. And me putting my welds on there might have made it brittle and or took some of the heat treat out of it. I don't want it snapping off, but
Well, it fits in there a little snug. It might fit better one way than the other. That's yeah, a little snug. Y'all give me just a second. I'm gonna do a little grinding on this here. I'll bring you back. All right, here we go. Here's this uh, inch and an eight socket that we took that hybrid freight screwdriver and cut up there and made those three pins on there. Got it welded on there. And we ground these uh, pins down to where they're a little bit shorter. They're a little bit bow, a quarter of an inch. I know it looks more on the camera. So we're gonna take this and uh, put it in there. See, it fits, that cl fits the clutch now. We're going to take our three-quarter drive ratchet. We've got the spark plug removed on the saw. Got some starter pull cord shoved down in the cylinder. Nothing there to act as a piston stop. And to remove this clutch, I'm going to go forward. And some of these clutches on these saws are on there pretty darn tight. So... We're gonna give her a shot here. Hopefully these pins don't break off. That one's got on there. There comes your clutch. So here is your clutch off a home light XL123 chainsaw that is. So our homemade clutch removal tool worked like a charm. How do y'all like them apples? I think that's pretty darn good. I'm going to have to put my name on that sucker. That's worth more than gold right there. At least to me anyway. So now your clutch is off. There's your clutch drum. And this plate stays in there. And you got your, got your needle bearing here. There's your needle bearing and a sleeve inside there. Don't go losing that. So when you put your clutch back on, you got this little spacer deal here. That'll go on first. Your needle bearing with that sleeve. And this uh, inner washer plate here goes on. Stuff your clutch drum on there. Remember this side where you see these springs, that goes to the inside. And you tighten the clutch back on towards the rear of the saw. Well, there you go. Homemade clutch removal tool. So, well, I hope you all enjoyed this video here. Uh, I hope you enjoyed my uh, little cooking video when we was cooking up some teriyaki chicken there. Boy, that was some tasty stuff. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Good stuff. So we're gonna come back on this saw here with another video. We're gonna remove the remove the oil pump. We're gonna be doing some crank seals on it, I believe. Possibly another pressure vacuum test and see we got it running. I didn't have time to take a video of it running how it was running. It's running a whole heck of a lot better than it was. But something's telling me it's still kinda got an air leak. Because when you tilt the saw forward or on its side, it starts idling. The tune changes. It kind of gets a little bit erratic. Not a whole too, not a whole lot. Not too bad. But what the heck? I got seals for it. At least I hope I got the right ones. And uh, 
we'll pop the oil pump uh, and flywheel off and uh, look at our seals and uh, see if we got the right ones. And we'll take a video and show you the seals that I got that I have here and uh, maybe this will help somebody out down the road that's got one of these home light XL 123s out there that might be having this issue. And if you want to make one of these sockets here, inch and eight socket, it's a three quarter inch drive, or you can use a piece of pipe or whatever you have at your fingertips. This is what I had and this is what I chose to use and cutting that Harbor Freight screwdriver up. So I hope you all enjoy this video. I uh, hope you all are doing well. And uh, thank you guys for hanging out with me. I really do appreciate y'all uh, hanging out, spending your, your time with me here it really means a lot uh i don't take that lightly so y'all keep watching my channel i would really appreciate it and uh share it with your friends um hit that subscribe button now i'll go ding 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 hit that bell and give me a thumbs up or two if you don't mind and uh as buck and billy ray puts it let's all be kind to one another and uh and uh, help each other if we can and love each other Y'all take care.